super impressed with the Durango actually. Again, we're getting into that option thing where why you can't you just option up to Hemi instead of increasing your whole package. It's a great vehicle. It's so practical. It's economical. Looks good. It looks amazing. Looks great. Yeah. It's amazing. Because what was the first year? I think it was 11. I'm pretty sure 11 was the first year. And I mean, you didn't see much of them around. Now you're seeing brand new ones everywhere. No, they're super popular. They're super popular yeah. because they are great. And I mean, compare it to what? What's your competition, right? And you're like Ford Expeditions and stuff. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you look at a Suburban or a Tahoe or something. Mm -hmm. Look at the Durango, it looks better. It's more economical to run. As far as I'm concerned, better packages on it. So I drove my sister's 2018 Durango GT, the 3.6 Pentastar 8ZF transmission, all wheel drive to Mopar Fest and back. So from where we are, oh, what was that? Three and a half hours one way? Yep. Something like, or somewhere around there. Anyway. One way. Yeah, one way. So I drove it there and back and I averaged 7.6 liters per hundred out of it. And I used about 60, $70 of fuel. No, 60 bucks. I used 60 bucks. Cause I just topped it off. It had fuel in it. I brimmed it and it was back down pretty much bang on the same spot. So yeah. I used about $60. It's probably a great ride. Uh, the yeah, it was an awesome drive. Yeah. The suspension of that is great. It's not like I was doing 80, like I was doing 100, whatever I was passing people. You want to stand on that thing, it gets up and goes. Yep, all wheel drive. All yep, yeah, yeah. all wheel drive. That eight speed works great behind the Pentastar because the Pentastar is not gutless. Pentastar is one of the best V6s ever going. Yeah, yeah. The reliability, like you're putting your bulletproof. Yeah. Yeah, because it's an entirely different package. Like her GT isn't available with that Hemi in it, mm -hmm. with that pack package, right? So yeah. why not? Yeah, why not? Would, would, like the GT, I love the looks of the GT and how yeah. the color match everything and the grill looks. Yeah. Like I love the looks of the GT. Can you tow with the... Uh... You, you can tow with the Pentastar. Yeah, with the Pentastar, yeah. Hey, don't, don't quote me on it, but I think it was like somewhere between 3,500 and 4,000 pounds, something so like basically that. basically like a boat, boat, you could pull a trailer. I can pull anything I wanted to. Yeah. Like, for what I normally do, for anything I own that I pull, I can pull anything like that with it. Mm -hmm. You don't need the different hood and the different interior and all that stuff. Yeah. Why not make it a four, eight, whatever, X amount of, like, a four or $5,000 option just to go Hemi? Hemi, yes. Yeah. Just do a 5.7. I mean, you don't even, you don't have to make all motor options available on all models. It's yeah. not like I'm saying your base model or a Citadel, which would be weird to see a Citadel with a 6.4. <laughs> I don't, I'm not saying a Durango Citadel has to have a 6.4. Yeah. But why can't you just like option a GT to the next motor up as well for X more amount of money? Another question, guys. We have a lot of questions. With the package that comes with a 5.7, you should be able to option that to a 6.4. Yeah, yeah. And then still leave the SRT8 on its own with its hood and exterior package and with the big brakes and all that as yeah. its own yeah, 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 yeah. you know like you don't need to necessarily jump right across the board with motor options but why not make the next one available yeah. you should realistically be able to get any Durango you want with a six or an eight other than that all SRT. the options you should have that available yeah like that I don't I, I do understand it yeah I don't like it mm. as a buyer but I, as them I understand it because if you're like if you're one of me and you're like yeah Hemi I'm not gonna be six. Well, now you automatically have to pay fifteen thousand, whatever it is, for the next package.